हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टेस्ट ऑफ लेड आयंस फॉर दिस वन आई एम टेकिंग वन सॉल्ट व्हिच इज ऑफ लेड नाइट्रेट नाउ टुडे इन टूडेज क्लास आई विल शो यू दैट हाउ टू टेस्ट लेड आयंस फ्रॉम द गिवन सॉल्ट सो फॉर दैट आई टूक सॉल्ट इन वन ऑफ द पेट्री डिश एंड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द टेस्ट फर्स्ट टेक अ टेस्ट टू विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पैचुला यू कैन एड लिटिल क्वांटिटी ऑफ सॉल्ट इन द टेस्ट ट्यूब okay after adding little quantity of salt in the test tube what we need to do we need to prepare a uh, aqueous solution of it which is also known as original solution so just i poured water in it and i'll shake it to dissolve the salt completely because this salt is soluble in water so after dissolving the salt completely we can observe that here few more reagents i am having so now if it will take time so repeat the process for two or three times and see that the, the salt which is, which is completely dissolved in it should see transparent now what you need to do you need to take dilute hcl and then we will be pouring dilute hcl to this solution okay so dilute hcl i took and dilute hcl we will be prepare, we will be here we will be pouring dilute hcl in the uh, original solution which we have prepared so pour dilute hcl in that and you can observe that students here preparation of white ppt so yahan par aap so you can observe clearly that here is a formation of ppt and name of this ppt is lead chloride what is its name its name is lead chloride that we should know often the external during viva they are asking this question that is what is the name of this ppt this ppt name is lead chloride and here you can observe that as soon as you will just shake that ppt will get settled down now what we need to do we have to take one more test tube and then we'll be taking one funnel to filter the original solution in which ppt has formed so you can make arrangement in this way so after making arrangement in this way uh, funnel i took Uh, keep the funnel on the test tube and take the uh, filter paper now in this filter paper there is a proper way of of folding a filter paper this is a filter paper filter paper contains many tiny pores which will help to filter the solution so here i am taking only one filter paper and let's fold it the first fold you should you have to fold the filter paper in a half semi circle after pouring it in a half semi circle make one more fold and then in this way cone shape we can make and you can see that three parts one side and another one part another side and you can make a cone in this way now try to fit this filter paper in the cone but as it is not wet so funnel is not wet and that's why the that filter paper will not get attached clearly so what we'll be doing we'll be taking water and just uh, sprinkle the water on the funnel and then keep this filter paper on the funnel after keeping the filter paper on the funnel you can pour the original solution in which ppt is formed and we will do filtration of that ppt after uh, pouring complete solution in the filter paper we can observe that solution started filtering and so in this experiment we need residue not the filtrate students make a point that residue it means the uh, ppt which is there on the filter paper not the filtrate so what we need to do we need to take out this filter paper and on the filter paper you can observe here we got some residue so student you can observe here a residue we got and this residue contains the lead ion so we in this way uh, with the help of test tube we can take the complete ppt on the test tube in the test tube or you can use a glass rod to to add ppt in the test tube now after adding ppt in the test tube you can do one thing you can just add some few quantity of water in it so ppt will get dissolved student there are two methods to do this reaction we can dissolve this ppt in water by boiling it but i am doing today without boiling so in this way we can add water to this ppt and then what you need to do you need to divide the ppt into two parts so we we will take another test tube and in that another test tube i will divide the ppt into two parts and after dividing the ppt into two parts i will take two more solutions with us right and what are those solutions the solutions which i am going to take are 
के आई के आई मीन्स वॉट के आई इट मीन्स पोटॅशियम आयोडाईड अँड अनादर वन आय विल बी टेकिंग इट ॲज अ पोटॅशियम क्रोमेट सो जस्ट कीप दिस टू टेस्ट ट्यूब्स इन अ टेस्ट ट्यूब स्टँड अँड देन चेक द सोल्युशन अँड दॅट सोल्युशन इज K2 CrO4 that is potassium chromate and we'll pour the potassium chromate in one of the test tube and another solution I'll be taken taking and that one is KI both the solution will show us will give the confirmation of lead ions now what I'll be doing I'll be pouring the solution in the test tube and uh, so take the test tube pour the pour the potassium chromate solution and you will observe that there is a formation of yellow ppt there is a formation of yellow ppt and that yellow ppt tells us the presence of lead ions and external may ask you the question that which ppt what is the name of this ppt formed and we can say that the name of ppt formed in this reaction is lead chromate student you can see that yellow colored ppt has been formed now in another one we will take ki solution now in this ki solution ki solution is a transparent one and our ppt is also transparent so just pour ki solution see you can see that it's a transparent so i'll be pouring ki solution in the test tube and then after pouring ki solution in the test tube i can observe that there will formation of again yellow ppt so both yellow colors are different students you can observe it clearly that both yellow colors are different and the ppt formed in with ki is actually the lead iodide so see i am uh, taking this ppt more closer and you can observe the both color one is bright and one is light bright ppt is of lead chromate whereas light ppt is of lead iodide and external often asking this question that what is the name of these two ppts so student i hope you understood today's test as well as enjoyed today's test.